and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some champion list elusives. That's right, if you're looking for kind of a more budget deck, no champions needed, that's where we're that's what we're gonna be going with today. We're gonna be playing, you know, basically the normal Kinku elusives deck, but we're not playing Zed, because Zed's a champion. And instead, we're trying out some new Freljord cards. Shared Spoils, seeing how this does in there, um, you know, can, can give us a little bit of card advantage and also some pump for the top three units of our deck, kind of like Omen Hawk. And Fury of the North being a huge pump spell for our elusives to try to uh, win some games, you know, basically using this as a way to get uh, four damage across or protect our elusives from removal. It does mean that we are playing a lot more Freljord cards. I got 12 total now in here because of Elixir, Omen Hawk, Shared Spoils, and Fury of the North, which is going to mean that our Wayfinder is going to be missing a non-zero amount. <laughs> you know, like we're going to be missing sometimes. But I think it's worth it for the power of those cards, and, and particularly for Fury of the North. I think that card's really, really good. We'll kind of see with Shared Spoils how much we really like that card. It is, it is possible we that we will want to move toward like towards back just having Zed in the deck instead of shared spoils. I think if I remember correctly, I think that each account starts with like two Zeds, maybe. And you know, that would make it real easy just to put those in. But I want to try out shared spoils. I think this could potentially be really good. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play championless elusives. Over in ranked, we're gonna go play five games. Win or lose. Hopefully win and see how we do. Kind of a little reminder, those of y'all watching on YouTube later on, I am starting the stream the stream on Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern. We're going to have an early stream. And most likely Fridays, I think I'll probably just be doing that all the time on Fridays and maybe like another day of the week. But if you're watching um, in a different time zone where my normal stream time starting at 4 Eastern is too late for you or if you're able to watch early on i hope it, hope to see you tomorrow morning all right we got karma lux control we're gonna get rid of the fury of the north to start with they don't really do a lot of damage anyway and the life blade definitely gone so do we want to keep the shared spoils i i think so i think so but we'll see what that shared spoils Camera is out of sync. I can fix that. Thank you. Okay, that should be fixed. Go get him, duo. Hey. There's really not much elusives at all in the format right now. And so you could take people... Boom. I was going to say, you could take people by surprise. Because there really isn't much elusives going on. Okay, platform playing mid-range Lucian Zed. I like that. I like that kind of deck. Um, yeah, like you want to have like your one man like with that kind of deck. Any tips or advice? One mana tricks are really important. Radiant Strike and the new Demacia one. Those things are very important. All right, gonna play an Omen Hawk to Chump Block, and then a Green Glade Duo. Okay, Cordex says I was playing last season to Masters with Lucian Zed, but now it's a bit harder to climb with the deck, so I switched to Noxious Lucian. Okay. Absolutely, Chan. And, uh, you know, people people in chat also are, are always really helpful if you if you have a uh, post deck list in chat and, and talk, you know, talk about it there. Usually a little more busy, so I don't get to interact that as much with playing here. 
I think we just go straight to attacks. Playing stuff pre-combat is nice for Green Glade Duo. But my card that I'd play pre-combat would be like Jewel Protector that would just trade with this. Maybe we do that pre-combat still. The reason not to is we could have Will of Ionia bounce. We could have Will of Ionia bounce a Karma. They just play Karma. They're going to go Lifesteal Barrier. I really hope they don't have Deny to keep me from bouncing that thing. Banish the unworthy. Okay, good. thought about giving it the pump to the Windfarer Hatchling instead of the Lifeblade. Kind of wish I did. Hatchling would be nice to play, but I think it's better to play the Conspirator and the Lifeblade. Could also go straight to attacks, and I have Fury of the North as protection, but the thing is, they're... They don't have... Their removal is not damage-based, so it's not like Fury of the North is really protection. to have, like, double Will of Ionia. Come on, don't actually have double Will of Ionia. They, they could have pur Purify Will of Ionia? No, don't. Says, can, Xenoflame says, can you describe the matchup spread of this deck a bit? I'm curious about it. Um, I, I think you, you probably, mean, probably mean like, yeah, like what are we, what are we good against? What are we bad against? That kind of thing. Kind of speaking, this is my first game with with this version, but speaking. Traditionally, with these elusive decks, or at least, I don't know if that's the right word, but basically, I, uh, we have a lot of good tempo elements against uh, removal decks, and ex especially against damage-based removal, and with all of our sizing, I think like we're good against the damage-based removal decks. So maybe like your Ezreal type decks. But burn decks can go underneath us. Because they're a little slow. I want to play this Conspirator, but I don't really have a great way to play this Conspirator. Hey, here is with me. I guess it's it's I guess this is my plan is just Stay in the air, play that, pick it back up, 
and then replay it. Could play Life Blade. But if I play Life Blade, then I'm at 10 mana and I don't have Hatchling plus Fury of the North. So I think I, I think I replay Green Glade Duo. Green Glade Duo also attacks for an additional point of damage. Everything's better with company. Says you. Yeah, that's true. I just shouldn't have blocked with that Omenhawk. I guess I was kind of talking and I kind of for, forgot that I even did that. All right, 12. Perfect. Yeah, I shouldn't have even blocked that Omen Hawks, then I would have had that to pick up with the Conspirator. That would have made my life easier, definitely. I would have had this Life Blade in play. No, I'm not Reaper. I don't I don't know what happened with the Twitch Rivals tournament. Somebody in chat probably does. We should too. And I still have Fury of the North. Hey, Kudis God with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for that sub, our second sub of the day. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Let's go attacking. I like attacking low to high. All right, we're one to zero. That's what I kind of mean by like people aren't like people don't play elusives right now, so people aren't really ready for elusives defensively. They're sitting there with a bunch of radiant guardians, and like like what's what's radiant guardian supposed to do against? against things that it can't block. Reaper says, I feel bad for the hate Swim got and bad because Rule screwed and Mogwai as well. Yeah, that's those both feel bad. Swim, just, Swim doesn't deserve any hate. Swim's a good dude. There we go, GG's. Okay, let's see. Uh, control. We'll just keep this. Hand looks good. Yeah, that's... That's something about being a streamer is... At least for me, for sure, I play a lot slower on stream. I know I get like some like YouTube comments about that, like play faster and stuff. I, I definitely play a lot slower on stream than whenever I'm not streaming because I'm not only my like because I really want to like like find the the better plays. Of course, you know I, I don't want to make mistakes on stream necessarily, but also with that I'm also trying to think of not only what the right play is but like what to say about what I'm doing and why because I'm trying to talk as much as I can I know I I don't like for example like swim talks a whole lot more than me I'm just not that I don't have the I don't know lung capacity to to talk all of the time I I know I, I don't really like the dead air but kind of how it is um, yeah exactly yeah, streaming is hard because yeah, you're multi multi-talking, multitasking between talking and playing, and not not only that, also reading. Don't forget that's that's the other thing. Like you're not you're talking and reading, chat and playing. Reading's a big part of it too. That you know you may not think of immediately. I just have the one solitary monk in here. There's gonna be times like this where solitary monk you can't you can't even play it, so it looks bad, but it's just the one of them in here. Never see us I mean I'm only attacking for seven. This thing attacks for six on its own. <laughs> um I just wish I wish I could play something else and pump up this Green Glade duo. 
but we don't just don't have anything to play. I really don't want them to play two spells and get triple two ones. That would be bad. Put that back in your hand. What are you doing? Putting a Heimerdinger into play? What is this? 2019? I'm gonna play Heimerdinger. Get that out of here. Need one. Free elusive turrets? That's not happening. Sweet, my turn. Let's go. Yeah, in high tech, obviously, I, I don't know anything about the situation that people are talking about with the slow play. I'm just saying that streaming in general. It does feel weird that if they, you know, I guess y'all are saying that there was a time limit. That does feel weird for there to just be a time limit in general. It's not like these games take that long. It just doesn't seem necessary. And that just opens up really bad, uh, yeah, some really bad feel bads for results. Hmm. What am I doing with you, Solitary Monk? It's like, how's this game going to play out? We're going to go, like, turn one, Blade Scout, attack him for two. Turn two, we, we can't do nothing because we don't plunder. Turn three, then what? Then we play Solitary Monk, pick up Blade Scout, attack, shared spoils. It's not bad. And then we have the Blade Scout to play again. It's not a... a it's not a bad... First few turns. I think I let that happen. I don't think that's worth saving. It's not like the spider does anything ever. I don't get to play Conspirator this turn, but I wasn't really planning on playing Conspirator anyway. But like if I would if I would elixir of iron, I couldn't. I guess that's what I mean. So if I would have elixir of iron, I wouldn't have been able to play it anyway. Attack! Boom. Not sure to, if you want to craft a sea monsters or a scout stack. I think you should craft them both. There you give me. They cannot strike what they cannot see. Yeah, I'm not I'm not a fan of chess clock. Timers in this kind of deck at all. I think I think this game already has a really good pace. I think like the the timers that are just naturally set in the game are perfectly fair. And other timers really aren't necessary. I need Oh, that's a problem. Yeah, probably Azelazel. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, w I would think so. Oh, man. Because now I want to bounce Maokai. Yeah. So, what are the, so you know, Maokai is going to start making saplings. Just pretty rough wasting my turn just to bounce that thing, and then they just replay it next turn. This is really annoying. It's really annoying with all these challengers. Challengers are good against elusives. Don't like any of my plays. So I'll pass. Sweet. That's good. If they don't have a removal, they're dead. I just go double fury of the north. They could just have any life gain though. You know, they could have withering will or grasp the undying. What do y'all think? Should I go for it? Should I just go double Fury of the North and just go for it? Probably not. Well, let's see if we hit some 2-1. Oh no, we missed! Hey, Mr. Joe. YouTube's finally back. All right, good to know. I'll start the last upload we just did. All right, maybe I should have just gone for it. starting. Stars at night are big and bright. Down, down. Deep in the heart of Texas. Blood and salt. Keep on playing more and more sea monsters. No, I haven't played League of Legends. No, I've, I'm a card game player that's... 
come over to Legends of Runeterra. Open said GG's. I mean, this game's not quite over. I mean, but hopefully, with the hatchling with Fury of the North back next turn, and I can finish this off. So let's see, next turn I'll have 9, I'll have 10 mana, so I won't be able to play both of these. If I play Jewel Protector, I'll have 10 mana, so I can't play both of these. I could just play the Hatchling right now, and nothing gets plus 2, plus 2, but then I go straight to attacks, and then I have the 2 Fury of the Norths. I'm priced into playing 1 Fury of the North immediately after blockers. That... Let's see, so they, they block they block a five power, so that's nine, so that's thirteen, so that does that does mean I survive a grasp of the undying or a withering whale. Oh I don't have enough mana to play this right now. Well what am I thinking? Well Yeah, then I guess I just pass. <laughs> I did all that thinking and I don't even have enough mana to play this right now. That's silly. All right, so 12. They picked the wrong row. Blade Scout was kind of the perfect draw. I should have just, I should have just thrown this, like I'm never gonna play the Shared Spoils anyway, right? I should have just thrown this out of there because I just wasted that mana. That could have been one extra point. We'll see, we'll see if that one point cost me. It could definitely cost me if they play like Withering Whale right now because I could only save one and I can't save the other. All right, while they're thinking here, I'll start this Reckoning upload. I mean, cheers is in the game's over. I don't know. I, I feel, I always feel kind of weird doing that because sometimes people, sometimes people emote and then have like the answer they need. But not there. We are 3 and 0. Oh. Championless, un, not undying. <laughs> Championless elusives. Don't even need champions. Oh. Sorry, are you? My dog laid down like right underneath me and I uh, very, very lightly started to step on her toe, but I was like, oh, what's that behind me? I don't want to like make it seem like I just hurt the puppers. Mulligan, mulligan. Uh, mm. If I don't have Omen Hawk, this card's not doing a whole lot. No 
Ooh, good mulligan, good mulligan. Unless our turn one card's Omen Hog. Calling fuzzball. All right, no standalone. That's good. See if we regret that. Basically thinking that I could protect like one of these things against Fiora and try to keep Fiora from getting a kill. But I don't know, maybe that's just Maybe that's just poor thinking and I should just save my 2-1 and just let Fiora kill something. So this this card just basically has no text. The their attacking isn't going to kill me. Let's see, that's it's, does Fiora kill me before I kill them? So maybe I should have just saved my thing. Don't attack with anybody on the ground. Don't let them like use a repost and level up the Fiora. starts getting to be a little bit more of a problem. Good dog. <laughs> no text. Yeah, I kind of said that. That was, that was when there was one of them. That, that first one had no text, but then when there's three of them, they start having some text. Uh, let's see. Do I deny this or no? I think I let this happen. Because basically what they're doing is they're getting a Concussive Palm. I think what I'm going to do is instead I'm going to play this Life Blade. And then I will deny the Concussive Palm. We get this other thing in there. Instead of denying... Instead of denying that, I'm going to deny Concussive Palm. It also has them spend 4 mana. 
Now I get to spend my four mana this turn where I want to spend it this turn. And there we go. See? No text. Four and O. Oh. Got that elusive four wins in a row. Whew, it's been a little while since we've actually gotten four wins in a row like this, but it's also been a little while since we played a non-champion deck, so maybe maybe that's what it is. What's up, Portugal? Joining on in. Okay. Um, we're going to get rid of the Life Blade. What about Shared Spoils? Am I mulliganing you? Definitely keeping one drop two drop and then what then i go straight to attacks i think we keep shared spoils we're basically playing this on turn three. Ooh, that's a good draw going for that 5-0 i am standing up yep have like the the standing desk that you know goes up and down and you know sitting for the first couple of videos and Felt like stretching the back out and standing up. <laughs> the followers are rising up against the champion bourgeois. I don't know if that's how you pronounce that that name, that word. Maybe. Oh, you ordered one coming in a week? Nice. No! Makes me cry. Oh man. Everything was so was going so good. We were going towards a oh man, we were going towards a 5-0. Life was great. And then bullets started raining down from the sky. Raining down. Yeah, well, I guess ninjas are are weak to rain. Raining bullets. What's Lady Luck doing now? Probably frowning. I don't have good insults. <laughs> Not used to insulting. Ooh. That's interesting. So I was planning on Protector Blade Scout. Now do I just Monk pick pick this back up? If I go Protector this turn, I could Monk like next turn and pick up Protector and Wayfinder. What are we doing over here? Misfortune Twisted Fight? They're not like super controlly. Hmm. All right, high tech. Have a good night. Hope to see you tomorrow for the early stream. We're starting at 11 a.m. Eastern tomorrow. We'll play four decks. Uh, I want to. I want to do both of these. I want to do the protector line, and I want to play solitary monk. What do, What do you do when you got two things you want to do? I'm not good at passing up value. I'm not good at passing up value. Getting another jewel protector trigger. It's too much. Hmm. Cool, they didn't have a make it rain there. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Cool. See you tomorrow, high tech. Two damage in. I'm always up for a round or two. 
How do you have more of those? Stop. So much pump, you can see why we're good against uh, small removal spells. Success gets you noticed around here. Huh. Oh no, that just does the next one. It just says grant the strongest enemy vulnerable. This the strongest enemy already already has vulnerables. It just it grants the next one. It doesn't say it does that. Like this is not the strongest enemy. Taking my cards. They took our cards. Now they're gonna have a bunch of elusives. I don't like it. That's pretty rude. Having my 3 3 Shadow Assassin. That's pretty rude. Looking for a daring escape. Make it worth my while. Really good. I thought for sure we were winning this with that third twisted fate. This has been rough, because this thing, yeah, that thing's about to level up now. I, I don't think we're winning this anymore. I don't I don't think we beat leveled up Twisted Fate. I don't think anything really beats leveled up Twisted Fate. I'm not greedy. My friends though. Looks like I'm on a hot streak. Why'd they have to have three? Three champions. I have none. I'm over here playing no champions. You get three? Most likely Riptide Rex. Huh. Past priority. Smiling. 
GG's I had an awesome, awesome hand. And just awesome draws for me too. Force them to have that though. But yeah, this Unfortunately this game is over. Let's see if I go straight to attacks, I'm not killing them, and I don't have another turn. If I play stuff, they get to red card, gold card, I can't kill them. There's... There's no winning line. Like, maybe if I hit, you know, a, a one a one drop elusive, which I guess I didn't have another one in the deck that was three power and they didn't have an elusive and didn't have a fast speed spell either one. There, there wasn't a winning line from, from that point. All right, but still really good 4-1 league. It took three Twisted Fates to take us down. Twisted Fate is arguably the very best card in Legends of Runeterra. Um, and it took three of them to, to knock us down, but yeah, this deck felt really good. It just, it felt like pe people aren't really ready for elusives right now because they're not that popular. Like, you know, you just don't really see elusives at all. And so people have like a lot of things on the ground for combat. They're not really ready for combat in the air. Um, Shared Spoils was pretty good. Yeah, I think it was pretty good. It's, of course, rough getting all your cards stolen that you're pumping up, but... Um, yeah, the Hatchling was awesome. Um, yeah, everything about the deck was pretty good. I don't, think I, would, I don't think I would really change anything. I think the two Hatchlings are the only epics, and... Looks like we have 24 commons. Let's see, 1, 2, 3... Four, five, six, seven, twenty-eight, thirty-two. So you have thirty. So you got thirty-two commons out of the four. Or no, no, eight times three. Yeah, twenty-four. Right. That's that's why I counted at first, and then, yeah. So you have twenty-four commons out of the forty cards. It's not too difficult to put together, um, and then two epics, and I guess that leaves you with fourteen rares. Which that's that'll be the little bit hard part, but. Great budget deck here. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. If you're trying this deck out yourself, let me know how it's going. It didn't really seem like we really missed Zed that much because everybody has blockers on the ground, and so we just didn't even worry about having Zed. The card that I could see replacing is I could see taking out Kinku Wayfinder. It honestly didn't do that much for us. It was, it was fine, you know, but I could see moving away from that if that opportunity presents itself. Um, I don't know exactly what to, to replace it with, you know, I'm just saying that that's, that's something to be on the watch for as something that could be maybe, maybe be replaced or, uh, trimmed a little bit. Um, one of twin disciplines may just be better than shared spoils. Possibly, you know, possibly twin disciplines is pretty good. Yeah. That's, that's something to think about. Um, yeah, I mean, that, that's definitely possible. Definitely possible. I kind of wanted to play one Battle Fury at the top end. I kind of did. I kind of wanted to just th throw, like, one Battle Fury, but I don't think we really need that. I don't know. It would be cool to have that, though, but I don't know. <laughs> I thought about one of those. Yeah, Shared is, is pretty good. Pretty, uh, Pretty good draw, and that plus one plus one to the to the elusives really is important. I, I was happy with the shared spoils. All right, there we go. That's champion list elusive. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.